This is our stamp keg shoe for the country pleasure. The measurements are 3 8 by 3 4 and the weight is approximately one pound. The Country Pleasure Division is our beginning level of the Tennessee Walking Horse. You'll see the head shake, the forward movement of the shoulders, and the drive from behind. This is our least animated of all the classes. This horse goes in a stamped keg shoe. The horse cannot have any weighted shoe on other than this keg shoe on any of the four feet in front as well as behind. What we're looking for here is our basic four beat gait. We want the horse to work out of his shoulders and extend his foreleg. We want the horse to drive from the hindquarters, to push from the hock, and have roughly a two to three foot amount of overstride. Overstride is defined as how far the right rear leg passes the imprint of the right foreleg and the same on the left side the left rear leg will pass over the imprint of the left front leg we don't really want to see a lot of knee elevation or an extreme amount of animation at the flat walk the horse will go three to four miles per hour and when stepped up to the running walk the horse will increase that speed to five to seven miles per hour but maintaining the same rhythm from end to end at this gate we should see the flexion at the pole we want the headset to be more vertical we want the horse to maintain a loose rein and above all maintain rhythmic motion at every step and at every speed they're English or Western. In the English, English tack and attire must be worn. Ribbons must be braided. In Western, Western tack and attire must be presented and never a combination thereof. On our Western horses, we like the horse to exhibit a more natural headset, being just a little bit lower than our English headsets. This is our Trail Pleasure shoe. The measurements are 3 8 by 3 4 The weight is approximately one pound to a pound and a half. This is our Trail Pleasure horse ridden Western. Again, in this Trail Pleasure division, horses are shown English and Western but not a combination thereof. In the Trail Pleasure Division is our step up from our Country Pleasure class that we saw previous. We like the horse to along with the motion of the front legs to have more knee lift, to have more bend in the knee and lift of the horse's front leg off the ground and extend forward. Again, we always want to see the horse engaging his hindquarters driving off his hind legs results in a longer, lower, more ground covering stride behind. In our trail pleasure divisions, we like to see a little more length of stride. We like to see an increase in the animation level and above all, maintain the head shake. When the horse is mo moved out to a running walk, we see an increase in his speed. We also want to see an increase in the action of his forelegs and an increase in the overall length of stride. Okay, this is the shoe worn by the light shot horse. The dimensions are one inch wide and a half inch thick. The shoe is approximately two pounds. Okay, this is our light shot horse. The light shod horse goes with just a little heavier shoe, a little more foundation to work off of. And on this horse, we want to see an e even greater increase in the animation level. We want to see some elevation. We want to see and maintain the characteristics most associated with the Tennessee Walking Horse in the head nod and the resulting length of stride. 
we want to see that rhythm in head nod. Now we want to see an increase in the bending of the knee and the reaching from the shoulder and also an increase in the drive from behind, a drive from the hindquarters resulting in even greater length of stride than our trail pleasure horse. This horse is also shown in English or Western, but never a combination of. On our four year old and younger horses, they can be ridden two handed as long as they go in a snaffle bit. Otherwise, if they're ridden Western, the horses have to neck rank. This is our classic park pleasure shoe. The measurements are an inch and a half wide, a half inch thick. The weight is a range from two and a half to three and a half pounds. This is our classic park horse. The horse is shown in a park pleasure shoe. Also this horse is shown English or Western, but never a combination thereof. Even more than the light shot horse, we want to see greater drive from behind, resulting in a longer overstride. We want to see more knee lift and reach from the forehand. We want to see and maintain that head shake. That is a major characteristic of the breed. We want to see an overall increase in the amount of animation and the amount of elevation. Again, our speed at the flat walk is three to four miles per hour. And when stepped up to the running walk, we want to increase that from anywhere from five to seven miles per hour. We want to see an increase in the motion of the forelegs, as well as an increase in the drive from behind, resulting in even a greater length of stride. This horse, we like to see a four to five feet overstride. Some horses may even overstride six feet. This is our park pleasure shoe. The dimensions are an inch and a half wide by a half inch thick. This is the first shoe we've looked at today that will incorporate the use of heavier metals. Most commonly associated with this is tungsten. That increases the weight of the shoe and gives us a range of four and a half pounds to seven pounds. This is our Park Pleasure Division. The Park Pleasure Horse will give us our greatest amount of animation and stride behind of any of our flat shod classes. It's also the class that gives our heaviest shoe, the shoe of the greatest amount of weight, which gives us more of a show horse. Again, we always want to have the action of the front legs, the motion of the shoulders, the bend of the knee, and the reach forward along with the drive from behind that shows that overstride. The most important is the head nod. The horse is asked to go running walk. You want to see an increase in all these areas with the head shake, the head set, the front action, and the overstride. This is our park performance shoe. The park shoe itself consists of dimensions of an inch and a half wide, half inch thick, and it's applied with two pads, a pad and a wedge with a limit of about an inch and a half at the heel. The weight of this shoe is a range of four to five pounds. This is a park performance horse. This is our first horse that we've seen this afternoon that's to be shown with an action device. This is a limited amount of pad, an inch and a half amount of pad, shown up to a six ounce action device strapped around each pastern. This horse gives us the elevation, the raise of the front end, the extension from the forehand, bending of the knee and reaching forward, the drive from behind, bending of the hop that results in our elevated way of moving. We see the head nod, the bending of the knee, the reach from the forehand, and then the elevated hind legs with the bending of the hock 
and the overstride. Okay, this is our performance shoe for our performance horse. This build up consists of four flats and two number four wedges placed on a bottom of full rubber to give the horse a better landing and a softer foundation to work off of. This build up itself has a rock back pad that's been applied to the back of the build up to ensure the horse doesn't take a misstep with his foreleg and actually bend his knee backward. The weight of this shoe is a, in a range of three and a half to five and a half pounds. This is our performance horse, the ultimate in the show horse. We want to see this horse set in the bridle, carry himself very proud, the head nod, the head shake that's associated with the breed. We want to see an extreme amount of elevation and animation. This is our upper level show horse. This horse is shown English. We want to see the bend of the knee and the reach from the forehand. And we want to see a strong emphasis on the hindquarters. This is our performance horse with a brace tail, with the pad and the action device. We want to see the bend of the knee and the reach from the forehand. And we want to see a strong emphasis on the hindquarters with the horse bending the hock and driving forward, giving us our greatest length of stride of any of the horses that we have here today. This is our country pleasure horse. This is our trail pleasure horse. This is our light shot horse. This is our classic park horse. Park pleasure. Park performance. Show pleasure. And this is our performance horse.